the decision. You remember when LeBron James was leaving Cleveland for the first time to go to the Miami Heat? I'm taking my talents to South Beach. In everyone's life, there comes a time, there comes a period where you have to make the decision. This is a decision that is serious, that's heartfelt. You're not pussyfooting around. Typically, this is when change happens. When you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, when you just fed up to hear, that's when the change happens. There are many of you who want to start a business, but you're too damn comfortable. You are living this life where you're very comfortable. There's not enough pain to facilitate change. There's not enough of a situation where you're going to make the necessary changes because you're not at the decision threshold. You're not at that point where you're going to make the decision. Like, you know, on this channel, we talk about stages. We talk about, you know, taking the necessary steps for financial freedom. And one of the first things you got to do to be financially free is make the decision to be financially free. It needs to be written down that I so-and-so plan on being financially free by such and such date and put to the five year date in the future. That starts the whole process because nothing begins to change without the decision. We all know somebody who's lost weight, who has started a business, who, and they made that decision. They opened up their mind. They like, this is what I'm going to do. And if you are still kind of shaping stuff up, if you're still kind of uh, putting things together, you haven't made the decision, bruh. You haven't made the decision. You still playing around. You still playing games because you are too comfortable. You're very comfortable. You are in a situation where you don't have to perform. You can live the rest of your life in the mode that you're living it right now. And that should scare you. You should be terrified that you're in this situation where you're going to continue to live your life passively and in low gear. This is the United States of America. You can live in low gear the rest of your life. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to build anything. You don't have to start anything. And you can have a pretty cushy, comfortable life. You could have cable. You can eat steak every day. You can have a place to live in the low rent district. You don't have to amp up in America. And there are plenty of people here who are coasting, who are riding the coattails of others. Because see, I think 42 million people are on food stamps. 42 or 48 million families are on food stamps. The population is only 330 million. That is a significant chunk of people. There is a, a lot of people on aid. There's a lot of people who need help. There's a lot of people get a check. Who's supporting all of this stuff? The productive people. Only half of America works. 
Yes, only half. When you subtract all of the elderly people who are retired, you subtract the children, then you subtract the people who are not working and who are on dis aid, you get to a country of 330 million people and only 150 million are working. So literally half of the country supports the other half. In 2019, you could be 78 years old making money on the internet. Just people don't know how, people are scared, people are in a situation, people don't have the mental. We talk about the mental a lot. The mental. You got people who feel it's too hard to support themselves. They feel it's uh, too rough. It's too arduous. It's... Uh, It's um, not in the cards for them. They, they don't know what it's like to support themselves. They don't know what it's like to live off their own efforts. They don't know what that's like. They don't know how that feels. They don't know what that tastes like. Because these people have been indoctrinated through tribalism. Tribalism is deep. Tribalism is deep dirty. Once you're indoctrinated in the tribe, you can't outperform that tribe. If you try to outperform that tribe, then you, you being sadity, you didn't change, you acting funny. This is what happens to people who begin to leave their tribe. Like, let's say your name is Johnny. Johnny, your, your mom is a maid. Your father's a bus driver. This is your tribe, a tribe of maids and bus drivers and the children, therefore, of these type of parents. So this is the type of neighborhood you live in, full of maids and bus driving parents. Then you go to school and you read a book. And the book changes your life and it puts this hunger in you for better. So you, you work really hard in school. You get good grades. And then... You change schools to go to high school and there's these rich kids in this high school and you begin to associate and assimilate, which isn't easy, but they accept you. They talk to you. You're invited to homes. So you've changed your social circle and all the kids who were your, your friends at the old school they hating on you now. Why are you hanging out with them? What's wrong with us? The low expectation environment continues. They're like, why is little Johnny trying to change? Why is little Johnny networking with these people who have affluence, who have money? He should be over here with us, ain't hitting on nothing. Ain't doing nothing, because... The tribalism is deep. They start to hate Lil Johnny. They start to talk junk about Lil Johnny. Lil Johnny with his new friends, he's hanging. But Lil Johnny's got a few problems. Lil Johnny can't invite his new rich friends to his old neighborhood. He goes to their houses, but he never invites them to his house. Because Lil Johnny knows that it's different. You know? His mother's a maid for families like the ones he's hanging out with. So little Johnny has a conundrum. You know, he loves his mom. He loves his dad. They're good people. They've installed solid principles in him, but they're poor. They're uneducated. They haven't made the decision to move to the next level. See, Lil Johnny made this decision that he was going to move to the next level in high school. So he gets out of high school. He goes to college. He continues to network. He ends up getting a job from the father of one of the kids that he had forced a relationship with and got to be known by the family. That's how Lil Johnny got that 100K job. And Lil Johnny 
got the 100K job. He's hanging out with these people. He's dating these women who come from these fancy pedigree backgrounds. He, he picks one. He marries one. Lil Johnny making six figures. 22 years old. Got him a trophy little wife. She's well connected. Her parents die. They're going to be instant millionaires. Lil Johnny living the American dream. But the people from the old neighborhood, they still hate him. Because little Johnny decided to level up. When they they could have made the decision to level up, they didn't want to level up. They didn't want to be around those people. Because see, this is this is the thing with tribalism. Tribalism makes you become very sensitive. Tribalism makes you make stupid decisions. Well, because white people do X, Y, and Z, and we consider these things that white people do, white people habits, I'm not going to do any white people habits. I'm not, mm -mm, no. I don't care if that's going to make my life better. I don't care if that's going to make me more successful because white people do it, and therefore, because I'm black, I'm Latino, I'm Asian, whatever, I'm not going to do that white people stuff. Even though success habits don't care what color you are. Saving money, investing, living within your means. It's not white people stuff. That's smart people stuff. So when you do this, you enable your smart self to level up. See, this is the power of the decision. You got to make that decision. You you got to make that decision and be real with it, be congruent and be crazy on it. You got to make that decision, but baby boy and baby girls, because until you make that decision, your life, the life of your family, the life of your future children will remain unchanged because as a parent, the neighborhood that you move into, you determine your children's friends, you determine their schools, you determine a lot of things because of where you live. And little Johnny's mom and dad, they live where they could afford to live, but they, they no one ever sat down and broke down, said, hey, as a parent, you need to level up to the highest level that you can to ensure that your children can network with people of abundance. No one ever sits me down and said, look, because I'm quite sure if someone had told little Johnny's father that because little Johnny's father was the father of a coal miner. So he got coal miner lessons. His wife, his parents were, were like sharecroppers. So she got sharecropper weapons. No one ever sat down and said, look, if you make this decision today. Your life can be whatever you want. And see, little Johnny, he read this book called The Power of Your Unconscious Mind in high school. And he realized that he could live the life he wanted. Little Johnny, he, he wanted to date the little fine-haired blonde girls from the rich family. Little Johnny wanted to stick his dangling up in there. Little Johnny wanted to be around the people with breeding and seasoning. And little Johnny made that decision. In high school, he networked, showed up his best face, got a job from one of the rich daddies. Uh, little Johnny loved it when the plan comes together. You could be little Johnny. You got to make a decision and you cannot concern yourself about tribalism. Because see, tribalism, you know, like black folks, tribalism is dangerous to success. You have a group of black folks who are who miss me with that success. We're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it black. We're going to keep it stupid. They're not honoring their Egyptian ancestors. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. They're not honoring the mathematicians, the scientists, the people who built. They're not honoring those folks. 
They are on the world star, world star, stupidity, dumb stuff. We're going to keep it black. We're going to keep it authentically black. We're not going to do any of that white folk stuff. No, no, no. And then you got a group of progressive black folks who are like, that's stupid. I'm not going to be authentically black. And they run the risk of being traded. Like, we don't need these black folks. Black folks, the only group of folks who be trying to get members, getting rid of members of the race, like trading, trading members, like, you know, we like, we're going to trade you like San Antonio, like Atlanta traded Sinu. It's amazing. So this message is brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, where you can go below, use the code MONEY, and get 50% off. So you can be like little Johnny. You can go ahead. I, I suggest you buy the basic money management course. Go ahead and grab that so you can put into your mind the principles of wealth development. The principles of wealth development are managing the money that you currently have to the best of your ability. Then, once you get that underhand, make more money. So there's a lot of stuff there for you. So this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. I'll see you guys in the next video.